unfortunately, that's kind of the deal. Mother Nature really likes to balance herself out. So while our weather is nice and quiet, we're seeing sunshine and some seasonably cool temperatures. Of course, as you just saw from Steph there, elsewhere across the country, it's a bit of a different ball game. We are looking live here at the Colchester Sky Cam. Great shot over Marble Island. You can see the sunshine mixing with the cloud. <laughs> and yes, I know some of you are seeing some more cloud than sun. And that has had an impact on your temperatures when you combine it with some of the winds that we've seen. It's 68 now in Burlington, 65 Plattsburgh, only doing 61 in Saranac Lake, but it's a little bit warmer out in Messina. You're doing 70. Northeast Kingdom, a cool spot right now with only 58 in Newport. But as you head on down towards the south, there are some warmer spots like Lebanon and Springfield and down to Bennington, too, all checking in with us. The trifecta of 70 degrees. Wind speeds out there now sustained from the north. And you can see anywhere between about 5 to as much as 15 miles per hour. And we've seen some higher gusts, too, over 25. So breezy, refreshing, and kind of spring-like, as, of course, summer officially gets kicked off tomorrow, the summer solstice early in the morning. This is what we can expect for winds tonight, though. 8 o'clock, still a little breezy. But overnight, watch as the winds basically go calm. So it's another one of those nights, clear, calm, and cool. The old three C's is what we can expect. Some of us waking up again with temperatures in the 30s. But for tomorrow, while it may start calm as the sun emerges, we'll see those winds kick up again. Again, northwest, 5 to 10, maybe as much as 15 miles per hour. So expect it to be breezy as well. Satellite and radar with Storm Tracker 5000. You can see some of those clouds that have kind of built on in here. It's all thanks to a pretty large system that's back off through Nova Scotia, throwing those clouds, almost literally throwing the clouds. And you have some more coming in from the west. But it's a bit of a squeeze play here. High pressure in between those two weather makers, and it keeps us high and dry, although at times we do intermingle our sunshine with some of that cloud cover. And that'll be the case again for tomorrow. I think we start off fairly sunny, see that sky become partly sunny, mostly cloudy. We'll kind of dance on that line. But Sunday looks to be a sunnier and even warmer day, too. Let's talk about future cast for tonight. You can see the clearing sky. Uh, I think some of these clouds here at 7 o'clock in the morning are a bit of a thing of fiction from our computer model here. It should be pretty clear and also fairly chilly, too. Tomorrow afternoon, don't worry about those raindrops. They won't happen. But we will see some increased cloud cover tomorrow afternoon. And those clouds melt away again for Saturday night. It gets cool, but not as cool Saturday night as what I'm expecting out there for tonight. And then Sunday, increasing amounts of sunshine and increasing warmth, too, as our wind direction will shift from northwest to a more southerly direction. So if you're planning on heading out on the lake this weekend, great weekend for it. Both days, probably more sunshine, the waves a little bit more calm on Sunday as opposed to Saturday, but neither day a bad day to maybe work on the tan a little bit, of course, with ample amounts of sunscreen. 50 degrees should do it for a low tonight. Those winds basically calm. Tomorrow, temperatures jump up into the upper 60s, low, even some mid-70s on your maps, too, in our typical warmer valleys like the Connecticut River Valley and the Champlain Valley, too. Here's the five-day plus two forecast. Summer solstice before 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll start to feel like summer as we get you into next week. 82 is our forecast high there on Monday. And notice those overnight lows not quite so comfortable anymore. We have great sleeping weather tonight and tomorrow night. But it starts to get muggy, more humid. We start to see some of those summertime storms, too. Especially Wednesday, that continues to look like the wetter of the days. But then we clear it out and uh, just keep it warm by the end of the week. After the winter we had, I don't mind hot. Uh, no, yeah. hot's okay. Yeah, I'm totally okay with it as well. <laughs> Way too cold this winter. We can handle a little. Yeah. All right.